What is up? Greetings and salutations, Internet. Aaron Smith here. Um, I'm sorry it's been a while, but um, it's now January 1st, 2016. I start of a new year, and let's just say since October, I've been busy. Um, I realized in a point where um, I wasn't getting what I wanted, so... I had to work harder. Um, for those who don't know, um, I do now have a, uh, a secondary job um, in which I do at home uh, customer service through uh, teleconferencing. And I um, thoroughly enjoy it. It's been busy because um, our client right now is Best Buy. So that was during Black Friday and the holiday season in which I was getting consistent phone calls. But um, I can't say I hate the job. I mean, I help people and I don't have to be face to face with them. That's just how I work sometimes. I can definitely give advice over the phone, through social media, through texting, whatever. But face to face um, with any person that is like me who has Asperger's, it it can get difficult as far as communication is concerned but um I've already talked on that for a while but um I'm just um now just not even looking at the new year as like a new change because this change has been going on for a couple months now I know now that I need to I just need to work I mean that's anything I mean if you want something you have to put a whole lot more effort into it. Um, I did not see this at first. Um, I've seen a lot of people I know on social media and in real life that are self-employed. They enjoy it. They love it. They get all the uh, flexible hours in the world, but they didn't really talk about all. Well, they do talk about it. I just wasn't listening about all the um busting your butt and uh just being uncomfortable in some situations as far as um just having to put forth the effort into living comfortably i know that um i wasn't there at one point um there was a point in time where i could not pay my bills i could not pay my rent i couldn't even feed myself or feed my dog and I realized that I just have to work I can't go out and try to satisfy other people I have to take care of myself first um, that's why I now have the second job um, but ever since then things have just been changing for the positive my first job gave me a raise in which they pretty much doubled my salary um, I'm now working and getting paid as much as someone like myself who has a college degree and a security clearance should have, as opposed to someone who has dropped out of high school. Um, not saying that that's a bad thing. Um, some people have dropped out of high school and become very successful with things, but they've just had to work harder. So, um, my... That's pretty much the uh, story I'm uh, pushing for right now is work hard. Just do the things that make you feel uncomfortable. Don't just look at the, the goal that's like miles ahead. You look at what's in front of you. You, you work to work another day. Um, I told this to clients um, when I was a personal trainer. You exercise so you can be able to exercise the next day. You don't just go out and burn yourself out and then have to take a week to recover. That's not going to solve anything. Um, the point is consistency. Okay, Every day you put forth effort. And you do what needs to be done, even if it is working two jobs, like myself. And <clears throat> then just put...
prioritizing and I at one point thought that things weren't working in my day job so I need to come make vlogs in order to become successful like many people have um, on YouTube is just making a huge living by posting videos every day and I realized I can't do that not right now I can't but all I can do right now is just put out what I'm putting out right now because that's all I have I mean I can't open up a auto mechanic shop without knowing anything about auto engineering so it's again I probably said this before um, you start small you take one day at a time you look at look at what you can accomplish right now as opposed to what you need to accomplish down the road um, and just get better just realize that take um some give yourself some credit for hey I got up I went to work I did everything I could for today and I'm just so you can say hey I I'm doing everything for tomorrow that's pretty much um where I've tr where I've changed my mindset in that where I'm thinking to myself okay I worked two jobs I did a eight hour shift in my day job and then a six sometimes seven hour shift with my night job and I can go to bed thinking that yeah I've did something I've accomplished I've put forth the effort I have tried that's gets you a whole lot further than I didn't meet my goal that's six months down the road um, things like that can get overwhelming at least for me it is um, and just um this is gonna be a restart um, I'm just gonna again post when I feel like I need to I'm gonna try to make a minimum of one post a week but um, I want to thank everyone who has so far watched my videos, um, has looked at my uh, Facebook page, has read my blogs, and has given me some positive feedback. Um, and just to let you know that um, I'm going to get back into this. Um, I'm going to go back to writing when I can, go back to making videos when I can, and <clears throat> just... Uh, start small and just realize that hey I'm doing something so everyone be good have a happy 2016 I'll be here um, again if you want to just uh, like and subscribe and follow or ask me any questions you might have um, I'm all here so be good and talk to you guys later alright peace